hello again. So let me generate uh, returns and stock price with small number. Let's say I equal five. So I have five number of simulations. So five passes of stock return and stock price. And M is four times that four. So that and the TT is T over M and the T is one over here. So TT is three months and discount factor, like a three months discount factor. Here, at least 1% over here. So return series, mu, and we have, I will come back to the adjustment. Of course, mu is risk free rate minus dividend. Okay, come back to the adjustment and dt and then sigma volatility and square root of dt and I have random numbers m plus one, uh, sorry, it is not plus one, it should be m, right? And then I was stock return. And then, yeah, looks like this. So the stock price is the cumulative, uh, we have to add returns. Because stock price is like exponential of a log return, cumulative sum of log return of the previous period. And then multiply initial price, of course. Then I have, right? four by five metrics of simulated stock return. Okay, so everything works fine. It is too small, so let me increase the number of simulations. So let's say 10 to the power of three. Okay. And then time step, let's say 12. So it is like one month now, times the one month. And then run it. Okay, 12 some, everything looks fine. So oh, let me, yeah, delete this one. Okay, I generate stock return. Okay, next, I want to generate now the value of American option at each node. Uh, as usual, we start from the back. So, uh, first, what we can do is let's determine inner value. So let's make a new code. Okay, so define compute inner value. Inner values means the value of option if it is exercised right away. Let's call inner value as H and the H is exercise right away. Then suppose we are into the put option, max put option. So K minus S here, K is exercise for 110. But of course, inner value option value cannot never be because we don't have to exercise. So inner value is I can compare this one with zero. Right, so this is inner value. inner value disregarding continuation value at each node. So this is a value if it is exercised right away or not, okay? Right away. And then of course, the terminal value, is of course the terminal value. Terminal value, right? So let's see if we, oops, max, there is a value error. Well, um, let me run, run all, and then value error. Why I have a value error? Okay, so definitely, there's no max function, NP maximum. Okay, now it is fine. So it's sometimes zero, sometimes not. So, okay, terminal value is fine. Terminal value, okay. And then let us compute the value of American option. 
on with backward induction. Okay, the idea is like this. So I have to start from I have to start from hmm. yes. So I have to start loop for t in range. Now I have to start m minus one because the terminal period is same. M minus one and zero. M minus one to zero and change by minus one. Okay. And what I can calculate is polyfit. I want to poly polynomial fit of with stock price at the node. I want to fully fit the discounted value of continuation function, okay, with the order of five, for example, okay. Let me say, right, we have one thousand pass. So at each node, at which pass, I want to estimate discounted value of the option with st current stock price with order of five this is the at the heart of the long stop short method okay i want to full repeat so i want to fit the function to count the continuation value okay estimate continuation value with stock price at each node that's my goal. And then we want to compute continuation value. Okay, so let's evaluate poly valuation. Okay, evaluate this one. Okay, when stock price ST. So, and then evaluate continue evaluate continuation value with the stock price continuation value function here with the function this gives us what is the value of american option if i don't exercise if I don't exercise American option and just keep holding it, right? Again, V is the because I start from the back, the V is the next period value and I discount it. So it is a continuation value, and I estimate the continuation value, estimate the function of a continuation value. Continue as a function of a current stock price with fifth order, okay? And then using the function, by plugging the current stock price, I can evaluate continuous value. So given stock price, I can calculate what is American value of American option if I don't exercise it. But of course I can exercise it. So I have to compare, right? I have to compare the continuation value and then inner value. What if I exercise right now? So the new V, new value of American option, of course, which will be discounted at the next period. But at this point, I have to update continue up, update American value as MP where. So I have to compare inner value with C. And if inner value is greater than C, then I have inner value. I exercise right away. If it is small, then I keep holding it. So it is a discounted value, right? So continuation value exercise right away. And I choose a bigger one, which becomes the, yeah, 
let's keep it constant, new American option value. So I have to keep iterating, right? And then of course, now we are almost done. Well, I have to keep doing it until initial period. And then V0 is of course now I have to calculate average. TF and N TF and then NP average of V, right? Then it becomes the value of American option. So print. The value uh, American here put option value is and then round V04. Then compute it. Where polyphase polyphase is not defined. Why? Sorry. Only integer values. Slice. Why I have error. Ah, yeah, I don't know why I have errors. So, um, only integer slice number. ST. Hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's wrong with it. Mm. Okay, integer, it's not integer. So let me increase this one by one. Okay, this is a bit annoying. And people fit. Hmm. I think okay. Uh I see. The error this is I. Sorry, this is the T so I have to change the index to T. And then if I run the code, then I got it. Now the American put option value is 14. Okay, sorry for the small delay. So again, the important part is this one. Okay. I estimate in the long stop search algorithm, I have to estimate of course, it does have to be five, or I can increase less like than 10, 10th order. Okay, it doesn't make any T. Yeah, it is fine. Okay. And then the important part is we have to estimate the continuation value with the function of current stock price and then evaluate the function. And then I have to compare the inner value and then continuation value and choose the bigger one. If continuation value is big, I use a discounted value. If not, new continuation value, new value becomes the, new option value becomes the uh, not discounted value, but inner value, if inner value is better. Then since I have, so I keep doing it until the initial stage, and then I average it and discount it, then we will get the American option price. Thank you.